humiliated you. You jumped out of the ring, chased him across the car park. You know about this, you know? Please, please keep. What can we expect from you? Yeah, firstly, I'd like to say thank you to Sky Sports, Ben Shalom, all the team at Boxer, the hospitality for me and my team has been second to none. But yeah, delighted to be here. It's been a long, hard road. Very confident getting the job done Saturday night. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. What about Florian Mark? Who, um, what are your feelings towards him as a person and as a fighter? I think we're two very different people, you know, I'm just someone who took their licks when they came and I'm out here still trying my hand at it, trying to make it happen. Flying, uh, he is what he is, um, yeah, best to look to him Saturday night. Do you believe that you are superior to him uh, in boxing ability, that that will be the key that you can outbox him? Yeah, I think I'm a better boxer. I've just, look, it's been a long, hard road to be sad today, and I don't plan on leaving the flying mark to take that away from me. He said yesterday that when you went face to face that you were shaking. <laughs> I don't know where he got that out of. Look, there was nobody shaking. I'm game ball for Saturday night. You know, flying mark knows he's got a fight on his hands. And is this the launch pad for your career? You view this as, as the start of, of something big and, and you know, not just appearing on a Sky Sports card, but you know, launching yourself into the, the mainstream. Yeah, you know, I plan to get used to looking at this ugly mug because I plan on staying here. You know, it's good to be here. And like I said, I don't plan on letting it slip. I've been through the mill to be sire today, and I'm not even trying to mark to take that away from me. Florian, what's your, your response to that? He, he said he wasn't shaking yesterday, and, and you're getting outboxed. First of all, hi to everybody. Feeling nice to be back after one year out of the ring from my injury. And yeah, hi Ben, hi guys. I'm so happy to be back. As for uh, my opponent, Dylan, he asked for that fight like two, three years before. He sent me a private message on Instagram and he said, hey, we need to fight next. And I, I accept, we accept the fight. And now we are here, Saturday is the fight. Uh, you mentioned before that uh, he was uh, he was shaking. When we was face to face, <laughs> he tried to hide it. If you see the videos from the from the cameras of the boxer of the other cameras, he was shaking his legs. After he was shaking, he was doing his legs like this, so it doesn't look bad in the cameras. But listen, Sorry, maybe never, never in my life will I shake. Him listen, you. listen, Let's shut up. And listen, yeah. I let me talk. Shut up. Shut up. That's what I'm looking at. I want shaking. Don't, don't shake and see if you got heels on. People. Shut up and let me talk. Let me talk. Let me finish. Show, show everybody the high heels. Your time. He's got, he's got a little insecurity. Show him the high heels. They were nice. Listen, listen. I know many guys speak like this, like gangsters, in front of public, in front of cameras. But when you are face to face, you don't say nothing, man. Next time, when you see me face to face, maybe in a corridor or somewhere that there's not so many cameras, come and talk to me and you see how much you're going to talk. I'm not the guy that I disrespect. No one. I I'm not this kind of guy. People who know me outside of these cameras knows me. But man, if you don't if you don't respect me, it's a different game. And about I was saying about his shaking, and he was shaking. I say to him, Saturday night, he gonna see that I am different. I say and I do it. And he gonna see it. I'm very prepared. And thanks God I'm seeing you all. See you Saturday. It's fair to say that I don't, I don't think it's a secret that you've been struggling with your hands uh, through recent fights. So you can sit at this table now and say your hands are healed and, and you're ready for violence on Saturday. You're 100% fit and ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it feels great to punch with 100% with my hands because of my last fight and I had a long problem. That's why it took me so long to recover from it. I was one year out of fighting. Flying, but now two hands I am completely fit. Don't be telling Louis. Hey, 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 you hey, had hey. two hands in the fight Shut the up. Mexican. Shut the up. Don't leave. How did you have one hand? Hey, two hands don't worry. With the Mexican. Here's a fight I have and the two hands. Don't worry. I'm not going to fight with and you. And he got robbed. The Mexican got robbed. I didn't, I didn't listen because somebody is clapping. No, you're maybe, listening. Maybe you're you listening. say something nice. Say it again. Say it again. What did you say? I said you had two hands in your last fight against the Mexican and he was robbed in Albania. The whole yeah. world seen it. Yeah. No worries, man.
the important thing is look Saturday because you're gonna see me face to face Saturday handing you maybe you think all this talk but when you see me in there and before the bell rings you can understand that oh my god this guy is not about is not joking and then the true show starts yeah okay. Would you, mind, would, you, would you give a prediction to each other? Dylan, what is your prediction? For <laughs> you know, look, this is not impersonal to me and Florian. I wish him and his team nothing but the best of luck. But the game is the game. He's standing in my way. It's been a lifetime of hard work to be sat here. And I kind of finishing the job Saturday night. And Florian, your prediction? What do you say? Because I didn't understand it really well. I have to say, it's quite difficult with the speakers up here. I didn't catch every single word of that, but... Uh... <laughs> you see, it's a problem to understand. Um, I don't care what you say, I'm gonna say what I, I will do. I'm gonna hunt him. I know he will, he gonna try to box, he gonna try to run, but I will be too much for him. And uh, you're gonna see all that Saturday. I'm very happy. You people don't understand how happy I am to be back. And thanks God. Thanks to Sky Sports, thanks to, to Ben, I'm back. And Saturday you're gonna see a beautiful performance. And something else, because I'm seeing a trainer of, of, of Moran, that they are speaking like, uh, like uh, hard guys uh, when they are in their cars. No worries, you cannot fight for him. You cannot fight for him, but if you want to fight for him, you know my, my address. <laughs> <That was. laughs> okay. Hey, what, what, I don't, I don't hey, hey, exactly. <laughs> what happened, what happened with Levi Barnes? What is that? What happened with Levi Barnes? We go? Levi Barnes. Levi Barnes. Barnes. What is that? The guy who was Barnes, humiliated you, you jumped out of the ring, chased him across the car park. You know about this, you know? Who is, who is he? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you know what I want about Levi Barnes. You were sparring? A sparring partner. Oh, oh, you know. My God. You, know. you guys believe that? First of all, first of all, I don't know this name. Second, for the people that knows me outside of boxing, they know what kind of people I am. Nobody ever in my life chase, chase me. I prefer to die in there. I don't move from my place. That's why I don't know what these guys is talking about. You can try it Saturday, you see how I'm gonna run or even outside of Saturday. Thank you all guys. I appreciate all the support. I have I received so many messages. Saturday you're gonna see who is uh, is better. You know, all the other is bullshit. Okay, put your seatbelts on because that one's gonna be a bumpy ride. Uh